Welcome to the basic egger video. Today I'm going to make a peach cobbler in a Dutch oven on the egg. I've made this several times since the original video and have changed the recipe a little bit, so it was time to update the video. We only have a few ingredients here. We have canned peaches, yellow cake mix, butter, and cinnamon, nutmeg, tapioca, pudding mix, and brown sugar. Now while the egg is getting up to temperature, I'll go ahead and prep the Dutch oven and put the ingredients in. There are a couple of options to make it easier to clean the Dutch oven. Lodge makes parchment paper inserts for the Dutch oven. You can also wrap it in aluminum foil. I find that the cast iron gets easier to clean with each use, but today I'm going to use the aluminum foil method. Now to mix the ingredients. I'm going to take two 29 ounce cans of peaches in light syrup and I will pour in the peaches and all the syrup. On top of that, I'm going to spread one box of yellow cake mix. I'll try to put this on and then spread it out so that it's fairly even. Smooth this out a little bit. On top of that, I'm going to add one box of tapioca pudding mix. I have to thank Chef D from the Big Green Egg Culinary Academy for that idea. Spread this across. On top of that, I'm going to spread some brown sugar. And on top of that, we'll sprinkle a little cinnamon. and a little nutmeg. Nutmeg's not coming out very fast. And on top of that, I've taken one stick of butter and cut it into pats. I'll arrange these across the cobbler as evenly as possible. That's all there is to do for the prep. I'll use the Dutch oven lid and put this on the egg at 400 degrees using the plate setter for indirect heat. This will take 45 minutes to an hour to cook and we'll check on it and when it's done we'll see the top begin to brown and the peach, the, uh, peach juice will be bubbling. That's how we'll know it's done. All right, the cobbler's been on for about 50 minutes and last time I looked, it looked like we're pretty close. We see we're a little brown on the top and we got some bubbling action going on, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then I'll let it rest uncovered for 15 to 20 minutes. And here's the cobbler after it's been resting with the top off for about a half hour. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.